<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kiara Dice. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, join the tribe, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Don't forget about TikTok. So I asked on my Instagram, um, what discussion topic video you guys wanted to talk about. It was between this, talking about bonnets in the airport and um, cultural appropriation. So ding, 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 the, air, uh, the airport bonnet thing um, won. So if you are not familiar with the whole situation, it is very much one of the, you know how like pop culture things happen and it's the most trivial, superficial, unimportant thing ever, yet it has somehow gained traction and sparked discussions that don't really matter. But hey, here I am to talk about it. So what happened was we have Monique, the comedian, actress, took to her social media to make a video. Hey, my sweet babies. <laughs> <laughs> hey my sweet babies like i just don't i don't know i don't follow her like i just don't i don't follow her so um but i definitely saw people repost it but she was basically talking about um women at the or black women specifically because you know like we're always the <laughs> the target of people's you know, pet peeves or something. You know, we always need to be addressed. But anyway, okay, we're, so let's just watch it together. So, let's 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 see. Hey, my sweet babies. So, um, it took me a minute to say what I'm getting ready to say because I want to make sure I'm not saying it in judgment, and I want to make sure I'm saying it from a place of love. Y'all, some of y'all have given me the title of auntie, and I'm honored that y'all do that, right? But there are times where auntie got to talk to her babies and say some real shit. I know that's so, right. So, yesterday, I was in the airport in Atlanta because I'm in Jackson, Mississippi now at Chuckles Comedy Club, right? And we got three shows tonight. We got a matinee at 5.30, then we got seven, then we got 10, right? And I'm excited, I always love going to the stage. So when we got to the airport yesterday, I was excited, like, all right, baby, let's go get them in Jackson, Mississippi. Let's get them. And as we begin to walk through the airport, I saw so many, actually too many to count and too many for me to tap. But I saw so many of our young sisters in head bonnets, scarves, slippers, pajamas, blankets wrapped around them. And this is how they're showing up to the airport. And it, I've been seeing it, not just at the airport, I've been seeing it at the store, at the mall. I've been seeing sisters showing up with these bonnets and head scarves and their slippers. And the question that I'm having to you, my sweet babies, when did we lose pride in representing ourselves? When did we step away of let me make sure I'm presentable when I leave my home? Let me make sure I'm representing the family I created so that if I'm out in the street, I look like I have pride in myself. And I'm not saying no full face of makeup. I'm not saying no full front lace frontal. I'm not saying none of that. All I'm saying is, could you please comb your hair? And if you don't want to comb your hair, they got enough shit out here now, baby, where you can style yourself up and look like you have pride. I'm not saying you don't have pride, but the representation that you're showing, someone would have to ask you, to know that you had it. So my sweet babies, for the ones that do call me auntie, I love you for real. Even the ones that don't, I love y'all asses too. But the babies <laughs> that say auntie to me, please listen to auntie. Always have pride in your representation of you. It's not to get a man, it's not, it is just your representation of you, my sweet babies. So I'm just giving y'all a warning. If I see you in the streets, in the airport, in the Walmart, in 
and you got a bonnet on and you got slippers on and you looking like what the fuck <laughs> I'm Nikki gonna tap you and say hey baby girl show you what you worth show you what you deserve so all of those posts that you see celebrities putting out there saying hey queen hey queen hey queen well can we start putting it into action so i'm asking our wiser sisters when we see our little babies out there looking like they just don't care and i'm not saying y'all don't it looks like it can we just tap them and say baby girl you deserve more than what you're showing represent you with pride my babies and that may be a part of us helping our community because if you look like you don't give a damn how you gonna be treated so when i say hey queen i can only say it to the sisters that it belongs to because a lot of us are still in queen training so if you're in queen training, stop being fearful of taking your position. And queens don't walk around with bonnets and headscarves and slippers and pajamas. That's for the house. When you go outside, represent you, baby, like you are worthy and you deserve the title of Hey Queen. I think you love y'all for real. And I ain't never going to be at you. Stop wearing them damn bonnets and head scarves looking like don't nobody give a damn about you nor do you give a damn about yourself. Cause you beautiful. So represent it. I love y'all for real, my babies. Okay, so that was um, Monique giving her, uh, her two cents on black women specifically wearing bonnets and pretty much sleepwear out in public. She kind of has this, hmm, like very like passive aggressive nature to it because she's kind of got this, uh, what's it called? Charm school complex. See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. Now for me, I, I don't see anything wrong with what she said, but, but, but I'm not tapping on anybody Hey sis, you should dress better when you're in the airport because like, damn, I would be tapping on people all day. Like, <laughs> cause it's not just the people, it's not just the black woman wearing bonnets and sleepwear that, that be dressing terribly on the airport. I've seen plenty of like non-black women who look disheveled in public. Do you think I need to tap on them? No. So what we're not gonna do is tell people they, how they talk about how people look and how they dress. And if you're my friend, it's only friendly for me to tell you, girl, girl, you can't be in no airport with me with your Scooby-Doo pajama pants on, okay? And your bonnet. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. And your, and your slides with the socks? Nope, not with me. But, well, I will say to anyone watching this video, if you know me, or if you know, airports, airports, that's where you gotta be looking your I am no stranger to looking bummy in an airport, okay? Did you see how I looked when I went to Aruba? But that was that was two years ago. That was two years ago. Now I wouldn't be caught dead. No. No. Because I am convinced that my future husband and I are going to meet in an airport somewhere. And I got to come correct. But it's not just to meet men. It's not just to meet men. It's not just to meet men. Travel has become more accessible to everybody. But I think that women, black women who wear bonnets and stuff like that, like they literally have their hair underneath and they know when I get to my destination coming up, we're gonna go to the hotel, get, do it. Cause like, you wanna be comfortable. Like I, I've been on flights where I have been so uncomfortable and I, and um, yeah, and I wish I had a blanket and I wish I had, but like for me, I carry all those things with me a lot of the time because like these airlines are trifling they won't even Amer not american airlines airlines in the united states are trifling like they won't even give you a blanket if you like have a domestic flight i love dita von Tees. love her to death she's like one of my favorite um entertainers and she, i i can show you i'm gonna put post them right here boom airport shot boom airport shot boom airport shot 
always snatch Slade at the airport, always. And I'm like, ooh, I wish I could. I wish, never. You think I'm gonna wear heels to the airport? No, no. There are such things as comfortable heels, but even then, no, no way. But maybe I should try it. Like that's probably what I'm gonna do my flight to Vegas. So I'm gonna go, I'm going to Vegas in a couple weeks and I'm, I'm just gonna show out at the airport and see what happens and I'm gonna vlog it. What y'all think about that? Tell me what you think below. Um, yeah, but so anyway, Dee Devante slays at the airport. And I'm like, I know these same girls who are wearing the bonnets. They are, their, sh their slayage is just on hold during the plane. At the end of the day, they're flying to the Dominican Republic and on, on Spirit Airlines, you know what I mean? They're like, what I gotta look good for there? The TSA dude, no. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. But I'm like, we need to, we need to find a fine line between comfort and fabulous and make them, you know, we need to, we need to blend those two concepts because we never know who we're gonna meet at the airport. Like you believe it or not, like I have met a lot of like people's in the airport. I'm waiting for my planes and things. Hi, this is me editing with a bonnet on. You see what I did there? Okay. So I just want to make it clear that I'm not saying people who wear bonnets or loungewear at the airport or anywhere are not going to meet people, right? That's not what I'm going to, that's not what I mean. So please do not take it personal. I'm just talking and I just think that like, you increase your odds, right? Right, right. But then again, you might even like lower the odds because who's gonna like approach this like fierce s slaying woman? Like, I don't know, like what? You can't win, basically what I'm saying. You can't win. So, okay, back to the video. <laughs> what I'm saying is I don't think there's anything wrong and I completely understand why people, specifically black women, opt to dress very comfortably on their way to their destinations in the airport. But I think that it's always good to look good. It always helps. I'm gonna say that much. It, all, it, it always helps. That's it. That's all. That's all. I don't know, but I, I hope y'all like this video. <laughs> it's, just, it's just me talking. It's just me talking. So um, yeah, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Press the notification bell. So I'm, I've decided to start doing videos every Monday and Thursday, but I feel like that's not enough. So, uh. <laughs> Anyway, okay, that's what I think. Look here at the airport, okay, bye.